Joke overview. 看笑话 To abide by the law. A police officer saw a driver pushing his car on the street. The police officer asked, "Sir, is the car broken?" "No." "Did you run out of gas?" "No." "Then what's wrong?" I realized. That I forgot to bring my driver's license with me. Key words: 学词语司机 driver, 司机 Trouble. 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 发现 Find out. 发现发现司机故障。发现，司机，故障，发现，司机，故障。发现。Make a sentence. 学句子。司机很快发现了故障。The driver soon found out the trouble. 司机很快发现了故障。司机很快发现了故障。Review， 复习，司机，故障，发现。司机很快发现了故障。To abide by the law, a police officer saw a driver pushing his car on the street. The police officer asked, "Sir, is the car broken?" "No." Did you run out of gas? No. Then what's wrong? I realized that I forgot to bring my driver's license with me. Do you understand? 你明白了吗？
Hello. Now I will introduce the sixth knot, the luck knot. Use about 80 centimeters of string. When we are preparing to tie this knot, we will need to gather some tools. You can see here I have a foam board that we use as a foundation. It can be made of rubber sponge or foam board. Stretch a piece of fabric on top and we are ready to work. Previously, we introduced some tools used to help tie knots, and this is the sewing pin. When we make the luck knots, we need some assistance from these sewing pins. Let's take the piece of string cut to about 80 centimeters and fold it in half. In the center of the fold, affix the string with the pin about five centimeters down, further down. We continue pinning the string to the board. Flatten the string out. And make another fold, again about five centimeters. We make a symmetrical fold on the right side that is also pinned down. A double string cross shape is now visible on the foundation board. After it is fixed down, we can refer back to our understanding of the tassel knot and the turning fish knot in the same way, we take the tail of the first string and flip it over atop the second string. The second string is flipped over atop the third. If it is easier, we can also use a pin to fix the string as we work. The third string's tail crosses over the second string then we use the fourth tail to cross over the third string that we just brought around the double stringed fourth tail not only crosses over the third string it should be like this it not only crosses here it also is thread it through the loop created by the first string. Tighten it up. You can see the grid shape emerge. The first time we learned the tassel knot, it used a single string. Now we are using a double string to make the same grid pattern. Okay, let's take out the pins. Then we begin to adjust the strings until we are satisfied. This part here is very different from the tassel knots. This luck knot has a fixed orientation. The tassel knot does not have a direction. The direction of knotting is not important, nor is the final length. This luck knot, however, has a fixed direction. We can see here the front and back are different. This is the front, and this is the back. As we complete this luck knot, we have to make clear which is the front side. We can only continue knotting from the front side. We should not flip it over. Otherwise, we will not succeed. After we have made adjustments, 
to the desired length, we can continue to repeat our previous movements. First, we identify our four strings, one, two, three, four. Take the first string and flip it over the second string. The second tail flips over the third. The third tail flips over the fourth string. The fourth tail flips over the third tail and is threaded through the first loop created by the first string. Make suitable adjustments. Well done. Walking slowly along the street, a kind-hearted old man saw a young boy trying to ring a doorbell, but couldn't since it was too high for him to reach. After he helped the kid ring the doorbell, the kid shouted, Well done! Let's flee quickly! They search for us with a lantern. Two travelers stayed in a hotel and they were very annoyed by the mosquitoes. One said, T, let's cover our heads with the duvet so they cannot bite us anymore. After a while, T uncovered the duvet to breathe and he saw fireflies. He shouted, God, it does not work. The mosquitoes are searching for us with a lantern. <laughs> IQ testing device. They imported an IQ testing computer. A put his head into it and the computer printed an analysis report. Your IQ is ordinary. B, full of confidence, also put his head into the device. It took a long time before the report was printed. While they were wondering what happened to the machine, a voice from the computer said, Please don't play jokes using a stone. One year later, A and B, who studied hard for one year, came to this computer again. The same as last time, A put his head into it first, and the computer printed, Your IQ is ordinary. With more confidence than last time, B cautiously put his head into the device. After a rather long time calculating, the computer printed, This stone is very familiar. <laughs> Someone is still occupied. An airplane in the air has a serious failure. And the captain uses the loudspeaker to tell the air crew and the passengers to fasten their safety belts tightly before the airplane is forced to make an emergency landing. Three minutes later, the captain uses the radio to ask the stewardess whether or not all the passengers have tightened their safety belts. Yes except an insurance agent who is still busy handing out business cards to the passengers, replied the stewardess. <laughs> Golden Bar A drunk man was caught by his wife as he entered the house. Where have you been all night? He replied, in a brand new opened golden bar. Nonsense, said his wife. There is no such place. Of course there is. With a golden gate, golden floor, even the chamber pot is made of gold. The wife did not believe him. So she called the golden bar to check out his story. She asked, is this the golden bar? Yes, it is. Do you have a golden floor? You can say so. 
and a golden chamber pot? The bartender shot back. Mr. Zhang, I found the person who put a pit in your saxophone. After that, we can see that this is a lovely luck knot. The symmetry of the piece is beautiful. Top to bottom, left to right, front to back. They are all symmetrical. Just before, as we were knotting, I made note that the front and back were not the same. After we repeated the sequence once, the knot became symmetrical. Now it is a beautiful example of a Chinese luck knot. It is symmetrical in all directions. If we were to take a further step and join the two tails of string, this would provide total symmetry. This is the finished luck knot. This luck knot has an important meaning. Because of its meaning, it is often paired with a wish knot. We studied the wish knot in the previous lesson. Together, they form the luck wish knot composition. We can take a look at some examples. Here in this book, this is the basic wish knot. Here it is paired with a chime or bell knot. This bell knot is quite complicated. These knots, when combined, symbolize a homonym that means auspicious happiness in abundance. This composition is a beautiful classic. Auspicious happiness in abundance. In short, the luck knot is not only a beautiful knot, because of its joyful connotations in Chinese knotting, this luck knot is one of the most common amongst the basic knots. Okay, that is our introduction to the luck knot. Now, let's learn about a very special knot, the plafond knot. The tying method for the plafond knot is very particular. If we simply use our hands, this knot is extremely complicated. In the tying process, where one string making one turn counts as one movement, I estimate that the plafond knot requires more than 20 unique motions. This is to say, despite the fact that this knot is small and looks so concise and natural, the tying method is extraordinarily complicated. Here, I would like to introduce a special knot tying method that is based on a simple structure but has a unique style. Now, I will demonstrate. Let's use a lovely string. about 90 centimeters in length. If tied entirely by hand, this knot would be extremely difficult. Here we can take advantage of a tool. This is a simple tool, often called a gunny sack needle, the same kind used in the market. We just need to have a large eye of the needle and make sure the tip has been dialed down. Now let's fold the string in half and carefully use the needle and place it in the middle between the strings. Look at my movements. The left side string first comes from beneath the needle, from left to the right to make a loop. Then we take the second string tail and twist it underneath the other horizontal string. Thread this through the left string loop. As a matter of fact, this is a simple knot tied around the needle. The second series of steps repeats. The left string goes under the needle from left to right. The right string twists underneath the other horizontal string. Continue from the top of the needle to the bottom. This is the second shape. 
Repeat this sequence four times. We will do it once more. This is the third time. And the fourth time. After the four sequence, we can see it taking shape. It is a very orderly pattern. Next, we take the string that is sticking up a bit and we thread it through the needle, making sure to thread it through from front to back. Now we pull the needle back through the top loop. Notice the second tail is coming from behind the loop because it was threaded from top to bottom. Therefore, the string should be threaded from behind the needle to the front. Now we pull the needle downwards. Unthread the needle. When we have removed the needle, we can now see the pattern. It is symmetrical from front to back. Make some slight adjustments to ensure the piece has the correct level of tightness. Take the fourth layer we just tied and try to lift it over top above the first layer. Flip it over the first layer. Now we flip it over the first layer. Let's continue with the sequence. Take the lower layer and flip it over onto the top. In this way, we have achieved a high degree of symmetry in this very special basic knot. This is called the plafond knot. Other knots all have elements that stand out or protrude from the main form. This knot is especially tight and square. There is a tic-tac-toe grid in the center. The shape has both round and square elements. It looks like an ancient copper coin. So in this light, this knot has a meaning related to wealth. It can mean profits pouring in from all sides because of its particular significance. This plafond knot is often paired with other decorative knots. Take a look at this book. This plafond knot is a basic knot. However, when several plafond knots are connected together, the piece becomes a famous composition called the happiness and longevity form. This beautiful composition is both lovely and full of meaning. Okay, that is the plafond knot. Thanks, and see you next time. White hair. Mom, why do you have a lot of white hairs? Because my daughter does not listen to me. No wonder Grandma's hair is all white. In the hall of the post office, an elderly woman approached a middle-aged man and asked him politely, Sir, would you help me write the address on this postcard?
Certainly, he answered. The man did as the elderly woman had requested. Then the woman asked him, Could you help me write a short message, please? Thank you. When the man finished writing, he smiled and asked, Is there anything else I can do for you? Well, one more thing, please, the elderly lady looked at the postcard and said, Add one sentence. Forgive me for my illegible handwriting. <laughs> Best audience. A seven-year-old son, Zhao Ming, was going to the cinema with his father to see a film. It was the first time for him. The movie was really heartbreaking. So Dad warned him that the film was a heartbreaker. When they came back from the cinema, Mom asked him whether he wept. Yes, I did, he replied. In which part? Mom asked in the part where father wouldn't buy popcorn for me. <laughs> Mistake. Hua Hua is three years old and he is very naughty. One afternoon, his mother put him in his bed in his room and then returned to her room. Ten minutes later, after hearing a noise from Hua Hua's room, she rushed back into his room. She did not find him, but she found his pants. Suddenly, she heard a noise downstairs. She went downstairs and complained, Are you running around without your pants? No, madam. I deliver the post and my pants are on, the postman replied. Watching with an eye. How much is a ticket? Ten dollars? I only have five dollars. So I'll watch with only one eye. <laughs> football field and graveyard. A Brazilian was tilling the soil with a tractor on a farm which he had bought recently. He found a tooth. Bad luck, he murmured to himself. He found another tooth 100 meters further. Baffled, he continued to work. He found another one 20 minutes later. Something is wrong. He switched off the tractor and went home. She asked the previous owner of the farm, Did you sell a graveyard to me? I do not like anything related to death, so please refund my money. The previous owner replied, Don't be angry. That was a football field before. 